All right, friends, today we're going to do a very simple and quick InDesign tutorial on how to take a text box and make it conform to an object. So what you need to do is just open InDesign. You don't no document specifications for this particular example of today. For me, I'm doing this for my class and they already have a document with 12 pages. So that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. You do not have to have a document like this. It can be any size, just open InDesign an InDesign document of your choice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on two of these pages. So let me zoom in here. So I got two of these pages ready and we don't even need to have shapes. Um, as an example, we'll just strictly use the text tool itself. So let's go grab our text tool and drag a text tool or a text box anywhere on your document. Um, I'm ignoring the guidelines and, and such right now. So I have my text tool document right here. So in order to manipulate the shape of this, let's go to our selection tool and you can see that they've, you know, now there's anchor points on the side that can manipulate the size um, like you can in pretty much every Adobe software. It's the same way you can manipulate the size, but let's say we wanted to make this a unique shape. We just wanted to keep it a box. We wanted it to go around some unique objects around in our document. So you'll want to grab go to the direct select tool and the same kind of thing that anchor points have gotten a little smaller now, but you can grab the anchor points. Remember, you usually have to click off the object first before you can do this. So click off the object, then click the anchor points, and then you can start manipulating the anchor points anywhere you want. So if you want a simple, just angle on your box, that's, um, you know, that's as much as you need to do. But let's say you had, um, a couple contours that you will needed to zigzag in and out. So let's go ahead and we'll put this back in its normal spot. We want to go to our pen tool and we want to make sure we're on our add anchor point pen tool. So let's make sure we're on the add anchor point pen tool and let's go ahead and add we're going to, we're going to be working all with this right side. Let's add like, um, three extra anchor points here so that we can create like a zigzag shape. So now let's go back to our direct select tool. Remember, click off, then click back on the anchor points and we can go ahead and make a zigzag shape like so. So if we want some text to fill that shape, so I already have some text open on my computer. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of it, copy it. And when you want to use your text box, if you're on your, if you just double click the text box, it usually just takes you straight back to your ability to add text. So I'm just going to um, command C command V paste some text in here. So as, as you can see, my text is now following the contour and a reminder, if you have nothing selected and you press the letter W, you can get rid of all your, um, guidelines and such. So you can see what's happening without the guidelines, but there you go. You can see we follow the contour of the zigzag. And let's say though, let's say we had rounded shapes. This was like a wavy shape on the side in order to make the text box do a rounded shapes on the side, you go back to your pen tool. And in this case, you need to use convert direction point tool, which will give you the anchors. If those of you that are used to, um, using illustrator for anchor points and, and handles, um, you go ahead and click and hold and drag and you can drag out to make rounded shapes on your anchor points like so and maybe this inner one also wants to be rounded so that's how you can make um, rounded shapes and I have an example so I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get rid of all this for a second and I have another example that we can look at um, as well that I've made previously like here's here's an example of our text wrapping around a shape. All right. Hopefully that was clear. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Talk to you later. Peace.